Dark blessings to you, Ag Sorceress. Though you are reviled by all, your power is beyond reckoning. Chaos drives you, and none can stand against your might. Your son has sent you south, away from your traditional stronghold of Grund, to reinforce the loyalty of those who defy the Witch King. Destroy or subjugate them, according to your whim. The hated Asser of Althwan have also struck against you, landing forces on the shores of Nagaroth. Throw them back, and, should you feel malicious, invade the kingdoms of Althwan to exact your vengeance. To the south, in Lustria, the lizard men spawn. Their jungles are squalid and ill-suited for settlement. But the beasts themselves are great sport to hunt. For too long have the petty warlords of Nagaroth been allowed to defy your will, Dark Sorceress. The time is now to remind them, and the world beyond your shores, of the awesome power you made. Hello, monsters about here, and welcome to Total War Warhammer 2 and the Mortal Empires campaign. Yes, we've got a whole new world, a whole fantastic point of view, as as Aladdin sang. Of, of, except, obviously, in this case, we're playing as the Dark Elves, so the uh, the brand new world will be steeped in blood and the anguished screams of tortured souls as they slave away in the mines deep below our horrifying cities, um, which is something you don't see in a Des Disney movie generally. Um, we don't have a magic carpet either, but we do have black dragons, so swings and roundabouts. Uh, we're playing as Marathi. Uh, why Marathi rather than Malakith? Is not Malakith a better caster, better in combat? Comes with a black dragon mount option. Better start location. Yes, all that is true. That's fair. Um, Malakith does not look as good in the bikini, though. And uh, he is not beach body ready. Is that body shaming a burn victim? Yes, although to be fair, it was mostly self-inflicted. Um... And he is a massive dick. So, well, I mean, to be fair, his mother is also a massive dick. But I, I love her. Hag sorceress of Grand. They've got an amazing voice actress for her. Uh, um, so, I mean, I couldn't, couldn't not play Marathi. So, who is Marathi? Well, if you took, um, if you took 80s Madonna with the big hair, Lady Gaga, and Isma from Emperor's New Goof, put them in a giant blender, and turned it on, you'd be a murderer. What's wrong with you? Seriously. You absolute monster. Uh, but Marathi is Malakith's mother. Uh, so, and, and this is just from memory because it's been a long time since I, I read the book. But um, Marathi was the consort of Anarian, who was the first Phoenix King, back during the, the first Chaos Invasion when the, when the Polar Warp Gates sort of collapsed. Um, so, you know, she's, she's pretty old, but she's, she's, I think she's looking pretty good for, for her age, to be fair. Um, she was rescued from a Slanesh warband which might have rang some alarm bells, um, but while Anarian was a consummate warrior and general, he had the common sense and self-preservation skills of a potato. Uh, to be fair, it does seem that Marathi does still love him, or did still, or, do, or did love him, or still does, um, but she is massively manipulative, so who can actually tell whether she does or not? Um, when Anarian disappeared, defending his friend Kalador, as, as Kalador attempted to create the Great Vortex, uh, Malachis was basically shooing for next in line as the Phoenix King, uh, but the Elf Nobles chose someone else, so Malachith did what anyone would in his place and went on a holiday. Uh, I know that's what I'd do. Uh, during his time, he came across a hat, which I think was the Iron Circlet, uh, which I assume is something like the Sorting Hat from Harry Potter, uh, which told him Chaos would win if he didn't go home and take control. Always one to listen to hats that you find lying around. Malachith, much like his father, who had all the common sense of something you find bleeding out at the side of the road, uh, decided to return home to start plotting to take control of Ulthwan. Uh, long story short, that went really badly. Uh, he, he got quite badly burned. It started a big civil war. Uh, Malachith, yeah, so Malachith got turned into, into an elf be uh, barbecue. Uh, Marathi sp basically spent her time scheming um, and plotting to help her son take control of Uthwan. But uh, when they started losing, when the civil war turned against them, uh, Malachith and Marathi decided that it was time to throw the literally all of their toys out of their disturbingly shared pram 
and blow up the vortex with a big spell. Fortunately, at the last second, Kalador the Dragon Tamer returned to reality just in time to stick two fingers up to both of them and rebound the spell, uh, which gave them just enough time to leap into each other's arms in a cartoon slapstick fashion before the whole of uh, Nagrathai sort of exploded, which was basically, I think it was, it was this sort of side of the wait, where's Ulthwan there. So it's basically this 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 edge of Ulthwan basically imploded. Um, uh, obviously, the, the next the next step was to turn their cities into giant inflatables and float off swearing revenge, which takes us nicely up to around about several thousand years ago in the Warhammer world. But to be honest, in true Warhammer fashion, nothing has much has changed since, so it's probably all good. That's probably all you need to know. Uh, Marathi is one of the most powerful magic users in the Warhammer world, and certainly the one that wears the least clothing. I mean, I suspect Tekalis goes for stockings and high heels at the weekend, but that's just a theory. I've got no evidence. Yet. Uh, Marathi has made dark packs and deals with demonic and dark forces, but man, bear in mind, I, I've pretty much done the same thing um, to get out of going to Morrison's on a Saturday morning, because I really hate Morrison's on a Saturday morning. I really hate Morrison's in general, but on a Saturday morning, it is literally the worst. Um, for all Marathi's faults, she is a doting mother uh, who wants to, to see her boy made king and doesn't mind how many piles of corpses she steps over uh, along the way. Uh, she is basically the epitome of a pushy parent. Um, so Marathi starts here, the ancient city of Quintex, uh, of was it? Quint Quintex? and it's slightly different from the Vortex campaign. Uh, the Vortex campaign, we had sort of a, I suppose we still got a little valley here, but it's not as as pronounced. What cities? We've got Moonshard, Iron Spike, and Sildra Tor, which I think it's slightly different from what she starts off with in the Vortex campaign. I think it's... They've had, they've had to shrink the map, I think, a little bit. But that's, to be honest, considering how huge it is. I mean, here's the old world over here. So this is where the Empire starts off. And then there's Ulthuan here. And we start off over here. So it's, it's, it's a massive, huge map. And we've got all... I mean, there's the Southlands over here. They're massively vast. Huge. And the Lustria down here. So it's, it's, just, a, it's just a massive map. Um, so we do have... We start off the ancient city of Quintex. We do have Corruption a special building. Right. So we've got that. Uh, yeah, you, you can go away. That's fine. Okay, so we've got a special building here, which is the Catacombs of Quintex. The catacombs of this impossibly ancient city conceal treasures that are not of this realm. Ooh, spoopy. Um, and that does decrease. Uh, it decreases the penalty due to lack of or due to presence or lack of corruption faction wide by thirty percent, which is very useful up to a maximum of ninety percent. It also gives us cash growth and uh, income from all buildings in the province. So very important to get that upgraded as soon as possible, in my opinion. Uh, Marathi does spread chaos corruption. I could make a joke about the fact she spreads chaos corruption, but that's not this type of channel. We, we don't do stuff like that. We, we just draw, we, we allude to it, but we don't draw direct comparisons. So that, that's, that's where we are. So um, the Dark Elves get slaves, so we can uh, we, we basically have a slave uh, yes. Do we have any slaves at the moment? Let's have a look. Uh, current slaves zero. No slaves. That's that's very poor. That's very poor. So we get slaves. They increase income, but they um, negatively affect public order. But not too badly, to be honest. It's a bit of a double-edged sword, but to be honest, it's well worth getting those slaves. So well worth doing that. Uh, we also have black arcs, which are huge floating fortresses. I think they've made been made slightly better in the patch. Um, in the vortex campaign, they were a bit they were a bit rubbish, to be honest. And of course, uh, Marathi spreads chaos corruption, so that's all fine. Uh, so we've got a chapter objective: the frozen lands of Nagroth are far cry from the glittering beauty of Ulthuan, but it is the Duki home now. So they claim as much as possible and forge a new kingdom from the chilled wastes so to occupy, loot, or raise four different settlements. Well, that's fairly easy. I think that shouldn't be too difficult. What are the winning conditions? Uh, objectives. So if we want to win the short campaign victory, we need to control. Basically, it looks like most of, yeah, most of Ulth 1. Yeah. Uh, we also need to construct a dark convent of sorcery. We need three black arcs. We need to destroy Lothran and the Order of Lawmasters. And uh, we also need to control eight settlements from this list. So Corone, Altdorf, Castle Drakenhof, the Oak of Ages, Miragno, Skaven Blight, Kislev, Hellpit, Kazakarak, Karakate Peaks, Black Crag, Lamia, Kemrai, Itza, Hexotl, Nagrond, and Lothran. We also need to catch up 10,000 battle captives and ensure that Archeon the Everchosen is in a wounded state. Jeez, that's a that's a pile of stuff, isn't it? 
Jeez, hell. Well, that's no problem. We, we, we get, better get started. The uh, so we start off with Marathi. Here's Marathi. Uh, so we've got quite a... We've got Sulafet. That's her uh, uh, Black Pegasus mount. We've got some interesting abilities. I do quite... I mean, we, we, we can make some choices here. So we can go either the Tenacious route or the Insidious route. So Insidious route is more about using your... Um, give some... Give some public order and uh, leadership debuffs to the enemy also gives you some melee attack for shades and dark riders that's quite nice but on the other hand you then get things like rituals of blood which increases ward save for all units in the army casualty punishment rate unit experience you also get uh, diplomatic relations with beastman warherds norsecan tribes increased magic drop uh, chance and ownership of factions favored corruption plus two and absolute devotion which it reduces upkeep of your lord's army by 30 percent which is pretty huge so i guess that this is more so this is uh well no i don't i said no that i mean to be i thought maybe one was more campaign and one was more battle but no to be fair i mean i quite like the tenacious route because the ward saves nice and the reduction in upkeep is really nice uh so we might have to go that marathi has sort of a, a mix of of dark magic let's go that we won't look at that uh, so she's got um yeah she's got is that is that death magic death magic uh i think she's got shadow magic as well and also black magic i think is the power of darkness black magic I think um, so she's got a bit of a mix but she I, I, she I think her spells are pretty good but I tend to give her a sorceress as well just to just to give just to give them a bit more magical power uh, but she is a very good caster I mean you get these like winds of magic plus eight for all forces um, the first sorceress allows you to recruit sorceresses gives more sorceresses faction ra faction wide uh, blessing of evil here gives cooldown percent uh, and miscast base chance reduction so that's all pretty good so she's quite a powerful cast and she's actually not that bad in melee either she's not as good as say malekith but she's she's not bad so we start off some, with some witch elves got a couple of units of dread spears a couple of units of dark shards some black riders with repeated crossbow and a war hydra uh, i guess we start do we start at war with these guys we do yes yeah, so we're at war with sildra tor so it was Sildra Tor. Uh, the Bleak Holds kind of like us, actually. Dark and Clark Carond. Thank you. Uh, sort of don't really care. Um, we, you may we're approach. with Tyrannoc, who are down here. So we're with Tyrannoc and uh, Sildra Tor. Okay, well, I, I guess we're going to start by attacking by attacking uh, Sildrator, but to be honest, I think that's... You don't have Sol Effect yet. Uh, but let's recruit some more units. The the Dark Shards are great units, so let's go for that and a Dread Spear. Uh, the Assassins are pretty good. Do I want to... Do I want to use them as a scout, or do I want... To, you know what, I'm just going to embed him. Just get him in the army. I am the first sorceress. There we go. Fantastic. Let's upgrade to get the Hall of Mustering. Sort. Public order is dropping quite quite quickly. But we do have research available. So let's go for... I think founded on tyranny. Start as you mean to go on and your population will never know what they may be missing. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but it sounds awful. So we'll go for that. I watch from the shadows. Okay, otherwise, I think we're looking pretty good. Oh, I'm also using the Steel Faith mod. So I've installed that. We had quite a good time with the Vampire Count Steel Faith mod. I quite enjoyed that. There were some really good battles there. So, uh, should be interesting. So the only thing I didn't really like about the Steel Faith mod was it's really, some of the units become quite small, and I don't personally, I don't like that. But that's just me. You know what? The turn did not take as long as I was thought. I thought it was going to take ages, but actually Hacks not too bad. Okay, well, I think... I mean, we could recruit more units, but I think we've probably got to just strike out. So, which direction do we go? Do we head for Iron Spike? 
or do we head for the coast and the moon shard? I think we're going to go for the moon shard. Well. Okay, so it's like the enemy army is there. Nelosai. It's got some black arc, black arc hand bows. Public the order is is, is dropping, but I think we'll be okay. Mother Money's fine. We could do with upgrade. Uh, yeah, we've, we've been. How much growth do we? Oh. So we've got zero population surplus. So it'll take a little while before we actually get get any. Um, can upgrade the ancient city of Quintex. Public order is always a real, real issue to start off with. You know what? I'm going. I'm, I'm just going to pause a sec. I'm going to make right individual faction. No allied factions. I want to go fastest. Enemy factions. I want to go fast. And neutral factions fastest. Let's go with that. Oh, you're, are you coming to attack me? You are. Jeez. Okay. Well, you know, ballsy first move. Looks like we've got the advantage, but uh, let's go. The first battle of the Marathi campaign. We're facing off against the uh, enemy Dark Elves. With Dark Elves, I mean, obviously we've got our Dark Elves ourselves. So we've got some Dark Shards. These are our, our repeater crossbow guys. Look how neat they look. They're so cool. And then, of course, we've got the Dread Spears. Because, uh, I mean, you, you know, they're Dark Elves. We don't just call them Spearmen. No, no, they're Dread Spears. Because that sounds more, you know, scary. So that's that's what we are. We've got the Dread, the, uh, dread Spears. Of course, the Dark Shards. And we've got oh, our Witch Elves are over here. I suspect they spend their time doing crunches or something. Because look, they, they, those are some impressive muscles right there. And, uh, of course, we've got uh, Sabioth. Our assassin. So he's got a he's got a little dagger and a repeater. Oh, there's Marathi in the distance there, just getting shot at. And a uh, repeater hand bow. Marathi's gone off and dropped a uh, spell on these guys over here. That's given them a little bit of damage, not done a huge amount, but has. I mean, not as much as these dark shards. I mean, ow, that. Yep, they're getting a. Uh, they're getting wrecked. Nice to see the uh, the blood pack back in the game. Of course, there's our Hydra. Looking amazing. So the enemy Dark Elf force is moving up. And getting absolutely pelted while they do it. And in comes... Jesus. Holy... That... That's, that's, that's spicy. Spicy indeed. So we had our, our Dark Shards in the front. And in come our Spears. They're going to charge straight into the enemy Spears. Spear on Spear action. Very exciting. The Witch Elves are going to chase down a unit of Black Arc Corsairs. Fortunately, they're slightly faster, but getting shot in the face, so not, not great. However, as soon as they get into melee, they will, of course, uh, make the Corsairs go out of control because of the poison on their blades, which means they will turn around and start fighting a losing battle. Good to see. We have our um, Dark Riders with repeated crossbows, so they are Missile Cavalry. They can't move and fire, but they're still pretty good. I mean, the repeated crossbows are fantastic, fantastic weapons. These Dark, these dark Spears trying to move, trying to attack while uh, getting absolutely like hit from every angle by, by repeated crossbow fire, and they die to an elf. So the, the purple circles be murderous, what is it, murderous thingy? Murderous, murderous prowess, which gives a unit leadership, melee attack, charge bonus, armor piercing, missile damage, and vigor. So the uh, the dark dark lord here, dark lady, is uh, getting stabbed in the face. Sab Sabioth found her and was, is now chasing after her. There he goes. So give, her, give her a good stab in the back. How's that? Sit. Keep at it. After her. Come on, get up. Nice job. Did you shoot her point blank in the... What, what was the commando roll for? Jeez. Yeah, so the enemy force is uh, retreating across the river here. The Hydra chasing after them. 54 kills there. And the uh, 
the Dark Riders have got 24 kills. Not too bad, and we can use them to chase down the last few remaining units. Just go and hack them to pieces. And I think the uh, the Dark Lady here, Dark Lord, is uh, is going to die. Sabi off. He's going to take a shot. Well, that was a bit late, wasn't it, Savvy Off? Looks like the Dark Shards did it for you. Never mind. Good attempt anyway. I mean, you did most of the work, to be fair. Good job. An auspicious start to our campaign as we wipe out the enemy force. Barely take any damage for ourselves. I mean, we could take some slaves. It's only 81 slaves. Oh, we got a shroud. A shield of Grond. Armor plus three. Melee defense plus three. Minus 12% weapon damage. Constant around self. That's pretty nice. Very, very nice. Okay, well we could ransom them. I don't particularly want to do that. We could murder them. That's pretty dark elf, isn't it? But enslave. I think we're going to enslave. Ambition rises. And that's that army is has to have to flee. Flee into the, uh, into the well, towards the coast there, actually. So we've got the Shield of Grond, a shaped into the leering face of an ice demon. This shield is imbued with the north wind, robbing, atta robbing attacks of their force. Ooh. Wait. And Marathi's got a level. We're going to always go for Root Marcher. It's got to be done. Uh, let's no. we go and finish off this army. I am Marathi. I think it probably makes sense, doesn't it? They've run off. By my desires. Shall we go and attack? That's their. Is that, is that, is their capital? No Let's go do that. Stopping me. Feel are they going to rage. reinforce? Uh, yes, I think they are. Are they? Is that their rein? Is that their reinforcement for? Uh, to the vengeful ah, let's just auto resolve it. It's fine. And we Take everything, will leave nothing. I think, yeah, we're going to loot and occupy, although mm, the conquest penalty is, is a bit brutal for the slaves. 180 slaves. We've got 80. What was theirs is mine. Oh, it really is Marathi, isn't it? We're gonna, yeah, we're going to loot and occupy. So we've taken a Sildra Tor, their capital. There's destruction um, everywhere. Uh, we could right, well we got a hall of mustering. So we could get dark shards with shields and bleak swords. I think let's get some let's get us a few bleak swords and a dark shard. We'll do that. And Rathi's got another level, and I think the inspiring presence might be quite nice, but I think we need to buff up our spells. So we'll buff up Melkos Mystifying Miasma. That worked quite well in the last battle. And uh, that's going to let us overcast it for extended cast range. Not that useful, but uh, it's better than letting Marathi get turned into a pincushion. And uh, Sabioth. A terror to their enemies. Indeed he is, Marathi. Indeed he is. Um, he's got a skill point as well. We I mean, I, I, I think I kind of want him to be in our army. So maybe the Dance of Death? Let's give them Dance of Death. There we go. Do that. And uh, otherwise, I think we're looking pretty Corruption good. We can we'll repair for the Black Spire. And I think we can, we, can, we, we can either go after Arathar next turn, or go after Iron Spike and then head for Moonshard, maybe. Looks like there's some Skaven down here, and... <laughs> A Scar Veteran. I wonder if the Scar Veteran has located Skaven in this ruin over here. That could well be a thing. Uh, Clan Nor. Squeak. Want to barter trade slaves, Elfing? I only take ones partially mauled. That's fair. You don't want the goods damaged, do you? I think that's, you know, for a Skaven, that seems quite fair. And we could get a non-aggression pact. And to be honest, I think I'm going to do that. So, I mean, we can always betray them later, can't we? Can we get a trade agreement as well? It's only give us 76, but there yes. we go. Cunning and cruel, I likes you, elf thing. That's nice, I like you too, Toxa. What a lovely little rat. What an adorable. Morathi. Morathi, yes, you said your name, good job. Well done there. We can get rid of one of, I think I'll get, a build up the Hall of Mustering. Mm. Speak. I want to say. A vile corruption is spreading. 
the ancient city of Quintex for uh, buildings that go above level 3. So actually, let's have a look at the building browser. What can we get? Okay. So the ancient city of Quintex. So we can build a harpy roof to get up to a dragon hatchery for black dragons. That's that's quite nice. We've got the house of assassins, the sorceress's abode, the dread manse, and of course the house of pleasure. The uh, the cultist government, that's going to be very useful because that increases public order and chaos corruption. So that's going to be a definite. And obviously we want to build the uh, the sanctum of Quintex because that's going to be uh, I mean that's going to bring in a lot of cash. So we're going to do that. Okay, well, um, so we got six percent slaves. So an income increase of 6.4% and public order minus 1. Which is not great because we're going to lose 51 public order next turn. And that means that we're going to get a rebellion pretty soon. So we're going to have to put that down. And we could recruit another another Dreadlord. But I'm, I'm not going to do that just yet. It's going to hold off. I'm impressed at the turn time speed, actually. Are you going around to wine, Spike? Hmm. Interesting. The very air is. Yeah, we're definitely going to have a rebellion. That's some brutal provincial instability I am the right first there. Sorceress. Now we could go and take Iron Spike. Ill considered. But that Short would then mean that Arathar could potentially move left or right and we wouldn't know quite where he was going which is a bit of a pain um, ok let's let's upgrade the dark hold let's do that What? could take iron spike could let's let's get another bleak sword another dread spear let's do that it's going I to, I mean, the Dark Elf units are quite expensive, 144 and 130, so that's going to dip us below a thousand income, but I think it's going to be well worth it. Um, I could get, you know what, I'm going to demolish this building. That won't know, because then that will stop us Pack recruiting. Of um, unless we just, let's just go for another Spearman. Let's do that. Let's destroy we this. Then we can build the, the, um, Thingy of whatever thing. The cultist gathering. We'll build the cultist gathering there. That'll be useful. That'll help with the public order. We can upgrade this to the Hall of Mustering once that's upgraded. Good, yeah, that's the, that's the plan. It's a good plan. So I'm very impressed with the turn times. I thought that was going to take a lot longer. Look at it. It's, it's, and of course, as time goes on, it's going, the, the number of factions will drop, so it'll actually get a little bit quicker, I think. Although, obviously, you'll probably have more of the world explored, so you might you might see the movements a bit, a bit more often. Okay, technology research, we got founded on tyranny. Good, so that's a good base, I think. Now, we could go for, ooh, exploit feuds. A whisper here, a moment there. Winning is often more satisfying when others don't even know you're playing. Public order is going to be useful, so let's get exploited views. I watch from the shadows. Public order is absolutely Morathi. garbage. So let's go up. I mean, no. we could go straight for Iron Spike, Pack but I think I think that's going to be the best option because we can take it. I mean, forces of Iron Spike aren't particularly potent. These guys are a bit beat up. I am the first sorceress. I think we're going to take them. Let's go for, for them. the rookie. Show no mercy. So we've got the advantage. So I think we should be fine. We've got to play a little bit more careful. But I think I think Revenge we should... awaits. Alright, Marathi, chill, chill, it's fine. We'll fight battle. So we are the battle for Iron Spike. Marathi safely behind the line of Dark Shards. And dropping a, a nice little uh, Melkos mystifying miasma the on these dark us. arc corsairs. As you can see, they're taking a little bit of damage from that. It's also going to slow them down. The damage is just a bonus. It's really the, it's really the slowing them down that 
uh, really does help. We're a little bit out of alignment here, so we're going to pivot in a second. And we do have our Dark Riders hidden in the trees here. There we go. Little, little pivot. Pivot. That's it. There we go. Perfect. Get a good line on. So there's a, there's an there's iron spike in the distance there. A little bit on fire, but that's okay. Dark shards are starting to open fire. Dark shards, very. I mean, I, the dark shards are just amazing units. To be honest, they they absolutely hack their way through. Even units with shields don't really stand much of a chance. In comes the Hydra. He's seen these black art. Oh no, he's got the. Oh my jeez! Holy! You just killed 67 dark elves. Our witch elves are unfortunately getting targeted by the missile units, and uh, that's, I mean, it's not great, but in they go. They're going to go charging into this unit of dread spears, and uh, that's that's a battle that they will definitely win. I mean, other than her, she she's bleeding out on the snow there, but that's fine. Other than that, big engagement happening. We do have the Dark Riders have snuck up behind the enemy Dark Shard line and are currently punishing them from the rear. They don't know which way to turn. Centre here, the War Hydra is continuing its rampage of destruction. No one is safe. Dark Art Corsairs there making a getaway. Murderous prowess has popped on the Dark Elf on the enemy Dark Elf side. Will it pop on our side? Maybe soon. Does it pop? I don't think so. No, it's not the way to go. See here, we can have to kill 531 enemies, or 531 have to be people have to die basically. What's left of the enemy army is uh, is now fleeing. I think our Dark Riders have decided to uh, start hunting down some of the, the Dark Riders. Is there... I think it's just their general left. There he is. Sabioth has of course rushed in to give him a good old stab in the face. Come on Sabioth, get in. Oh, Marathi's there as well. Look at that. Sabioth and Marathi. very calm. I'll just walk after you. It's fine. Just do some twirling action with my knife. Marathi there. Can't even keep up. Come on, Marathi. Run. It's, I know it's difficult in heels, but just... And the snow. I imagine that probably doesn't help. Oh, Marathi got the... the did you get the last blow? Did you kill Steel? Sabios kill there. Is that cheating? I don't know. That's probably fine. I mean, she is the boss, after all. That's, that's a bit late, Dark Shards. I think it didn't really do much there. But, uh, but nice attempt. That's Arathar no dealt with. And despair. Yep. That's, that's what she said. So a cash there and an obsidian trinket, which is magic resistance. Yes, it is. Got another rank gain there. Is that it? That's all. Yep, that's fine. I and have seized it all. Let's loot and occupy. We're going to get a rebellion anyway, so we may as well you know, get a really powerful me. rebellion. So that's what we're going to do. So Obsidian Trinket, the barest essence of a Jinn captured within Black Obsidian is enough to weaken enemy spells. Do Iron not Spike, so we can repair that. And we've got Dark Health Manners, a noble birth will only get you so far. Strength and domination will take you all the way to the end. That's going to increase growth and casualty replenishment rate, which is going to be pretty nice. And you could get Obsidian, but there's no point. What does Obsidian do? Hero recruit rank plus one for sorceresses, all provinces. Interesting, so that might be quite nice to get, but to start off we definitely need a cultist gathering. Public order and chaos corruption. It's going to be massively helpful. Uh, yeah, we're definitely going to get a rebellion. Marathi, let's give you... Doom and Darkness is nice. Power of Darkness is good, but we've... Um... Extended effect duration. 
Axe on so that's an area of effect spell. I mean, the leadership might be nice. It's minus 17 leadership. It's minus 9. I mean, that would really help us break units. Improved power recharge rate while casting. Well, let's go for... Let's go for Soul Blight, because that is a, a quite a nice and powerful spell, so we'll do that. Yes. And Sapioth. A terror to their enemies. They, he really is a terror to his enemies. Um, let's go for Weapon Strength, I think is... I mean, really beef that up. Yeah, we'll go for Weapon Strength. Um, Mother of the Druki. Recruitment-wise, let's go for another one of each. Corruption of the vilest and sort. And we will deal with, with the rebellion and then head for the moon shard. Yes, we've got an imminent rebellion. I know. I'm aware. It's fine. They can rebel all they like. Oh, Hexothel, hello. What are you doing? Counted the Ripperhorn tribe. They sound lovely. So we've had a rebellion, the chaos, the chaos forces. Oh, just Norse. It's easy. What's raiding going on? But let's move up, move Marathi up. Um, the very that is going to. Let's go into this malcontent. Malcontents leaving for a rebellion, so that's okay. So we will get some additional uh, public order from that. That's going to be helpful. We need to move on the Moonshard as quickly as possible before they can build up another army, although I suspect they're going to have trouble doing that. So uh, should be okay. Um, okay, we do have a lift. I mean, we Hexotl is down there. They won't like us, but we do have um, Clan, was it Clan Nor in the way? So Clan Nor can act as a little um, a little break for us. That's basically what they what they're going to be. They're just going to be bodyguards for us. Just sit there. Uh, let's upgrade Iron Spike. I think um, is that a good idea? Well, I mean, that will go for extra growth, and then that will help overall. So yes, yeah, do that. Do that. And uh, Marathi is almost almost reached those Chaos Warriors. Will they build up their force next turn? I mean, even if they do, they're just Norse. They're just marauders. What are they going to do? Unless they've got lots of chariots. Ugh, chariots. I'm not a fan of chariots. Yeah, they have recruited some more units. But uh, I don't think that's going to be particularly troublesome. Although, well, they do have a Hell Cannon. I hate Hell Cannons. Uh, we'll have to deal with that. But otherwise, uh, I mean, they've got some Chaos Spawn. A few Marauded Horsemen. Other than that, it's just Chaos Marauders. I mean, that's not going to be a difficult battle to win. But we've run out of time for this episode. So we'll have to carry on uh, tomorrow with the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you next time.